here on the campus of UDC, in this building, there's a revival going on. The man responsible for the revival, former Washington Bullets bad boy, Jeff Ruland. In his first season as head coach, the Firebirds won just one game. In his second season, 11 games. This season, Ruland and UDC have been ranked in the top 25 in Division II basketball. That's what I was hired to do. Uh, we got the job literally a week before school started, and we didn't even have enough time to schedule enough games. You know, at one point during the season, uh, we had five players, three of them walk-ons. The one kid got hurt, and we played 10 minutes, four against five. You know, we've, we've come a long way, but, you know, you're only as good as your players and your, uh, and your staff. Rulin's coaching staff includes former Maryland standout Terrell Stokes, and his team is full of big-time talent. Four of the five starters are Division I transfers, including DeMatha product Nigel Munson, who played at Virginia Tech. I think it's a success story because, you know, in the beginning, we didn't do so well. You know, it was a learning experience. Everybody had to learn how each other played. So now, hard work is basically paying off and we're doing well for ourselves right now. It's not a surprise, not a surprise. I was hired, you know, I've, I've been successful wherever I've been. And uh, there was gonna, you know, be a lot of hard work, but uh, no, it doesn't surprise me. Jeff Rulin played for the Bullets from 1981 to 1986. He was one of the best big men in the NBA, averaging 17 points and 10 rebounds per game. Standing 6 foot 10 and weighing 240 pounds, Ruland was a menace. He and teammate Rick Mahorn were known as the Bruise Brothers. The duo was also nicknamed McFilthy and McNasty. Where do you think you got your passion for coaching basketball? I think the fact that I was one of the best players in the NBA at the age of 28 and had that taken away from me. So I had that drive and I had to put that somewhere. A knee injury cut Rulin's playing career short, so he turned to coaching. He was an assistant for the Philadelphia 76ers, then became the head coach at Iona, his alma mater. Rulin says his current job is the most rewarding, teaching and transforming. Educator, demanding, believe it or not, compassionate, and the biggest thing is I actually care. I care about these guys, not just on the court, off the court, and uh, I'm living proof you can't play basketball forever, so you, you have to have your education. In 1982, UDC won the Division II National Championship. 30 years later, Jeff Ruland is helping put the program back on the map. Hakeem Dermich, News 4 Sports.